In just over two weeks, Utah lawmakers will meet for the 2020 state legislative session. And this morning, we're getting a look at what they hope to accomplish. It's part of the annual Utah Taxpayers Association Legislative Outlook. And a big focus this year will be tax reform. ABC 4's Jared Giacinini is live at the Grand America Hotel where they held that outlook, and he has more on what lawmakers are asking. Jared? Well, it was a full house here at the Grand America Hotel, Brian, where various bills were discussed, but clearly raising awareness and attention for the recent tax proposal was a main focus. Now, the Utah Taxpayers Association says its goal is to clear up misconceptions about tax reform. The association started its annual conference with Governor Herbert saying, despite the tax plan implementing a sales tax hike on food, gas, and other services, the plan would create various income tax cuts that most Utahns would benefit from. We got some perspective from the Utah Senate and the House of Representatives on the tax reform plan during the upcoming session, and the general consensus is it's not perfect, but Everyone is on board. For low and moderate income families, we put together an earned income tax credit, food credit, no state income tax on Social Security. We put a $2,500 dependent exemption, dropped the income tax to 4.6%, 160 to 240, maybe $300 million tax cut. Those who are above $75,000 uh, will not get anything. The wealthier people will pay the tax and the poorer people will have that money redirected back into their uh, needs. Giving away $160 million is a lot harder than it should be. Uh, but we knew we were doing the right thing uh, to make the state better. Now the governor says tax reform is very important. Also, raising more money for education will be a top priority this legislative session, which is scheduled to start at the end of the month. Reporting live in Salt Lake, Jared Jatsanini, ABC4 News. All right, thank you, Jared.